Maisie finished third, obviously a great honour in a tough year though. Yeah, mate. Um, you know, it's very humbling. I didn't, you know, I didn't expect to finish that high, but um, you know, I'll, I'll take that. It was, it's a tough year, and and there's something to salvage from the year, I suppose. Tell us about you. Obviously, K. Cole Jasney finishing second, another defender. The, the defence is a really exciting prospect if we can keep them all in the park at the same time. Yeah, I suppose everyone likes to blame us when we lose, but if two uh, defenders finish top three, you know, we're doing something right down there. Um, but no, it's. Uh, it's great for Collar, like you know, as a defender, we're like a little brotherhood down there. So you know, I was very happy for him. But obviously, Tommy Lynch, he full deserves it, man. He's a great leader on and off the field, and a great bloke. So you know, couldn't couldn't a better bloke couldn't have won it. And the back six, obviously, Adam Saad coming in this year. Nick Marchesi missed a bit of footy. Roy Roy Thompson missed a lot of footy. But going forward, it's exciting times really for the Suns. It can be a real cornerstone of our of our game. Yeah, mate. There's going to be there's like the names you just mentioned. They're going to be polling boats next year. They're going to be playing well. We're going to have a bit more continuity. Also, inject the four gun midfielders that have missed the whole year. We'll probably take out this award most years. So, um, it's, it's going to be great, man. We're going to, you know, we've had a tough year of learning and uh, building resilience, but now we're we're ready to take the next step. And after a good break and back for the preseason, I think the boys are, you know, going to tear in for a good year. How difficult has that been missing? You know, not only your four best players, but your four midfielders. It must have been a challenge throughout the year. Um, mate, it's definitely a big challenge, especially for the defenders who we rely a lot of on the on the midfielders to put pressure on because you know if there's obviously no pressure, they're going to be hitting up the forwards and they're going to be kicking goals on us. So um, the, the midfielders who do step up, they, they need credit as well. They've, they've done a great job in the absence of those you know guys like Gary Ablett, Dave Swallow, Gian Prestia, Jago Mira. Um, so when they come back, they're only going to have great leads to teach them. But also, it's going to nullify opposition getting easy clearances, and we're going to score a lot more. So I'm sure Tommy Lynch is going to be happy when those boys are back. You had a really strong second half of the year and you knocked off a lot of the best forwards in the competition. What was what was your most satisfying game? Um, I think it probably was West Coast with Josh Kennedy. He, he did kick two goals, but one of them was a freakish one-handed mark, which I just had to applaud. But um, I think the fact that they have the best midfield, they're probably one of the Premiership favourites and we were able to take them to a draw. And I was able to do a job on Josh Kennedy, I think all up, you know, as a team. Team effort, that was probably my favourite as well, your highlight of the year. Building nicely here, West Coast. Kennedy and May, again May the spoil. The way you finished the year, it's sort of a lot of the media sort of started suggesting that you're in All-Australian contention. What do you need to do to sort of enter that next bracket with, you know, Michael Hurley, Alex Rance, McGovern, those sort of types, do you think? Yeah, mate, I'm, I don't know, I'm defending all right. I think I've, I've got to start getting involved more offensively, maybe taking some more marks and I think be consistent. I, you know, I didn't poll any votes until after around six or seven and then I got suspended, so, you know, that's nine weeks of missing footy and that's also nine weeks of missing all Australian contention so um, even to be mentioned with those boys you know it's a, that, that's a win for me you know I'm, I'm going into the preseason going wow these guys are mentioning me in all Australian brackets I would never have thought that so you know that's another bit of a motivation hopefully next year as we make finals and we, we play well you know that only that can that can help me prepare myself into the next you know stratosphere of defenders with you know the Rance and Harry Taylor Michael Hurley's. Our leadership has been something that's been questioned throughout the year from the media and externally but it seems to be something with yourself and Tom Lynch in the back half of the year that's been really strong. Is that something that you pride yourself on, something you've had to grow? Um, mate, honestly it isn't something we sat down and said hey let's do it. It's on the field and Tom Lynch and myself, he's up the foot, I'm in the back. We've realised hey we need to step up and do something and lead the way because all our good mid uh, all our good leaders are injured and you know they've retired, you know Nathan Box and that of the, of, of the club so um, I suppose it was a natural thing that came but Obviously, the coaches sat us down and said, "Hey, you two, you know, you're on different ends of the different ends of the field. You have a lot of influence on the blokes around you. We need you to step up." And that's when I started to become more accountable for my own game, but also the other back six. So, um, you know, I think it's been a blessing in disguise. But um, hopefully, I can, you know, help out the leaders next year and you know, help a bit of leadership down the back with Nick Malcheski, Rory Thompsons, and oh, yeah, as you saw, Cade College Asney come second. He's going to have to step up his leadership again. You've had a bit of an armchair ride to Cade College Asney. Have you seen him grow as a player? Seems to be a lot more confident towards the back end of the year than even what he was in the earlier rounds? Mate, he's, he, he was, he's what you'd call like the co coach's pet. Like Whatever you tell him to do, whatever you ask from him, he's going to do it and do it in spades. Like, he, he runs further than everyone, he, you know, he gives the ball, he gets kicks. He, he's, a great, he's a great mate to play alongside because you know what you can get from him each week. And I think you know, he's gonna, only going to get better. It's only his second year and he's come second in the BNF. So um, no, you know, the sky's the limit for him. And it's been, it's been a privilege to play alongside him. And just some weeks I watch him push forward, kick goals. I'm just like, this kid can play, and you know, he reminds, reminds me a bit of Grant Birch, who that sort of running half back, left footer. And yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be a good player. Adam Saar's another one you've got to sit back and watch. Obviously, he sort of faded off towards the end of the year as injury struck, yeah. but how exciting was his first half? And 
with the full pre-season and more conditioning, how, how good can he be? Yeah, mate, the thing, that his groin's really started hurting him. I was playing games with him when he was when he was really struggling. He would tell the physios, the coaches that he's fine to go, but I could tell that he was struggling. But, mate, what we start, we make jokes in the back line when we're under pressure, we just give it a side because he just runs out of the back line and makes it so much easier. So, again, add him into the mix next year, we're going to have a lot of exciting players down the back line midfield and forward so and Sadi if he continued his year he would have pushed for the club champion as well I, I have no doubt about that so once he gets his body right has a good break he's only his first year he's going to be back better than ever I'm sure. And just lastly you're about to get on a plane and get out of here tell us where you're going and what you're up to and who you're going with. All right, I'm a um, big NFL fan and uh, like a bit of baseball so I'm over to the States on Tuesday and going to a couple college games a couple NFL games and a couple uh, baseball games with Dion Prestia and a couple of our our mates from the Gold Coast who are NFL fans as well, so mate, I can't wait for that, it's going to be great. And Go away, recharge the batteries, come back and get ready for a big 2016, I think. Great, enjoy your break, thanks mate. Thanks mate, cheers. With the turnover to Franklin, May with a double-fisted spoil, but has he got enough to carry the line? It has. He's a good player, Stephen May. He He's is. a really good defender. Rowan, good intercept, ran through, put the ball out in front of uh, Buddy Franklin. And watch the closing speed. Steve May knows when to go in that last two or three metres to impact the contest. Whether it's hit the ball or the body, yeah. that's what you have to do.